You've got to be agile, you've got to be lean uh, as a freelancer, and you've got to look to you know, where the next big thing's going to start to come from. So I think it's just in your own personal interest as much as anything else. I'd like to start really by just uh, telling the story of the, the CEO from a very well-known um, multinational corporation who was asked how many people worked for his company. And he said, about half of them. Um, <laughs> And actually, he was probably being a bit over generous because it, there are about three billion people uh, who are employed around the world. Um, and out of those three billion, there's a measly 13% who would say that they were engaged in the work. The bigger question is, why isn't work working now for people? Um, and we know it's not working because of the phenomenal rise in freelancing. Here's a stat for you. In less than five years' time, we will have reached the tipping point where 50% of all people who are working in the UK and in the US and in Australia, pretty much every Western developed country, they'll be working for themselves, they'll be freelancers. And this isn't something that's kind of delayed in the future. This is starting to happen now. The future is going to be a freelance future. Most companies now in Britain are small and medium sized enterprises and that's how it's going to be. I mean, I started as a freelancer, I was a professional musician. Then I worked in, um, organizations for a long time um, and I always felt a little kind of constrained by that and there's, there's something in me which is kind of kicks against the intuitive uh, and I go for the counterintuitive usually um, and I think freelancers do that that's how they have to separate themselves out from the pack in some way else they're not going to work I think the other thing about the freelancer ethic is that you know you're only as good as your last gig so there's no room for complacency within freelancers. How does that apply to clients that we're working with? I think all organizations have to get a sense of, the, the jargon name for it now is entrepreneurship. You've got to bring that external kind of entrepreneurial spirit, but, but make it work within a company because the rate of innovation is accelerating so much that if, as soon as people start to coast and think that you know they're in a job which is safe, then it, it's not going to help that creativity and that, that need for innovation.